winter is coming. So we're gonna do one last ride before we put away the bike for the rest of the year. people asking us how we got to med school so we thought we'd make a video about it and share our stories. I'm kind of cliche in that as long as I can remember I knew that I wanted to be a doctor so I started gearing up for it pretty early on in life. In high school I spearheaded a basketball in high school I spearheaded a basketball blah, blah. in high school I started a basketball fundraiser to raise money for heart disease. Then I started working with the Heart and Stroke Foundation to raise awareness about heart disease and healthy living in the community. By the time I got to university I was more than sure that I wanted to go into med school. I worked hard to get good marks, studied hard for the MCAT, and made sure I was getting all the prerequisite courses I needed to be able to apply. I didn't take any summer classes and instead I spent the summers traveling, volunteering with organizations that were really close to my heart, and spending time doing things I loved, like dance and photography. Volunteering wise, most of what I did wasn't actually even medical related. I taught dance classes, I was a mentor for high school students, and I also ran a program for awareness about drug um, abuse and violence in high schools. I did do some medical related volunteer work though. I helped set up blood pressure clinics throughout the community and helped spearhead a radio campaign that raised awareness about healthy living. Basically, I knew that I wanted to be a doctor from day one, but instead of thinking about my extracurriculars in terms of things that would look good on my application, I just did the things that I was really passionate about and worked really hard towards them. On the other hand, didn't figure out that I wanted to go to med school until I was already in undergrad. I toyed with the idea of going into media or maybe even business, but to be honest, I wasn't really sure. In the end, I decided to go into biochemistry because I thought that would just be a really interesting degree. During my first one and a half years at university, I realized that I really liked the medical sciences, but I also wanted a career where it was more of a dynamic work environment and more people interaction than just working in a research lab. So in the second year of university, I decided that I was going to take the plunge and I was going to try and get into medical school. Without realizing it, a lot of the things that I've been doing in medical school had actually had actually been helping, and a lot of the things that I've been doing in my life had actually been helping me get ready for medical school. The biggest factor was probably my competitive sailing, which kind of peaked with me being on the national team for Canada for a couple of years and doing an Olympic campaign for Beijing in 2008. I was also afforded a lot of really great opportunities in my sailing that helped boost my med school application. Specifically, international travel, going to spend some time overseas by myself at a young age and getting lots of cool stories in the process. I knew that this part of my application was already pretty strong and so I spent the rest of my time during my undergrad rounding out my CV in terms of uh, academic research and volunteer activities. I volunteered at two different research labs on campus and then I also joined a program that taught elementary school kids science experiments. And I also tried to get more involved with the community by becoming a big brother. I've actually worked as a medical school application consultant and I've read through a lot of different CVs. And I remember when I was at pre-med thinking, man, just tell me what I need to do specifically to get into med school and I'll do it. I remember being so frustrated when people would say, you know, just do what you love to do and it'll all work out. But to be honest, it's actually totally true. Basically, there's no specific magic formula that will get you into medical school. The most important thing is to work really hard at getting good enough grades and then spend the rest of your time dedicating yourself to the things that you love doing. You don't have to fly to Africa to build a school in order to show that you're committed to volunteering. Just pursue things with commitment and passion and that'll really come across when you apply. This was made even more obvious when we first started medical school. During the first couple of weeks, when everyone was getting to know each other, people would tell stories about what they were doing before medicine. 
you realize that people come from all sorts of backgrounds and there really is no one specific archetype. Some people were high level athletes, others were musicians, some people were really involved in academia and research, and yet others were really involved with their community and doing volunteer work. Really the only common thread was having something that you're really passionate about and working hard towards it every day. That's the thing that demonstrates true commitment and hard work and honestly that's probably the thing that gets you into medical school. That's the thing that gets you into medical school.